Panini has graced us with a new football set, and they've given us a choice. You can have the sensible option or the not-so-sensible option. I don't have a lot of sense these days, so I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you with a brand new video and hey, it's not baseball today. We have had so many damn baseball releases here in this last couple weeks that it feels nice to do something different and today we have some 2022 classics football. This does come in two different configurations and we are going to check both of them out and talk about both of them so you can make an informed decision if you want to go with the practical choice or the DGen choice. And uh, this is a fun product. Uh, this one particular, a little bit more fun. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Uh, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I do appreciate a like on my content if you enjoy it. A uh, quick little programming note. We will be live uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, back-to-back -back break nights. Our final two streams here in 2022. We're going to be taking the weekend off to enjoy the uh, new year. And, uh, but we will be going live. We'll have both of these products and many more. I think we'll have all the baseball from uh, last week, including Update, Chrome, and Five Star Baseball. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, so come on out. We'll be giving away some free stuff as well, as we always do. But today, we are checking out two different boxes. The first one I will talk about is the 2022 Classics H2 box. This box comes in at right around $100 to $120. You do get 80 cards total, six numbered parallels. You get opportunities at H2 exclusive purple autographs numbered to 25 or less. Uh, this is a fun little product, a great value rip for a younger collector or somebody just looking for some value, looking for a rip, and maybe you don't want to rip blasters or retail. Um, so instead, you want to find something that's, you know, budget friendly and this is it for football right here this is about as budget friendly as it, it as it comes but no guaranteed autos but again you do get six numbered cards the cards look very very good this year so this is the budget version and then if you have a little bit bigger budget and you have a little taste for the high risk high reward this is the classics premium version this is was sold at dutch auction just a couple of weeks ago and uh yeah this is the dgen one uh with two autographs per box and only six cards total so the boxes look very very alike but they are not so alike at all uh this one you're getting what are you paying like a little over a dollar a card this one you're paying almost forty dollars a card thirty dollars a card because this one's currently selling on the secondary market for around two hundred dollars again it was sold at dutch auction but the dutch auction's over um so if you want to go that route you can still buy them but you have to pay uh you have to pay secondary market prices we're looking for the ultra rare team color throwback edition um that is going to be one of the big hits in this we'll put this one to the side and do that one at the end of the video but today we're going to get into classics h2 to kick things off hundred dollar box 80 cards you do get some pretty good value you want to turn it over on the back you can pull one of ones from this product and a whole variety of different color parallels also things like blank backs no names stars uh different color backs as well so there is a lot of different variety in this box again this is going to be the 2022 rookie class unfortunately i don't believe brock purdy is a part of it i know purdy mania is all over the place you know with trey lance out and jimmy g out and Purdy looking like the guy that might be taking the Niners to the playoffs. I'm not sure. Actually, I am recording this before the Niners game. Um, so maybe uh, maybe not. So, so I do have to record this video because of the holidays. Uh, I do have to record and edit some of my content for this week, last week. So uh, we have Saquon Barkley. Here's the design. So I didn't even really talk about the design. You're going to get both paper cards and chrome cards in this box. Two chrome cards per pack. And then six numbered cards. Usually you actually see closer to eight or nine numbered cards. You do see more on average, which is interesting because usually you get on average and you miss out on autos and numbered stuff. First parallel in the box is going to be to 125. That is to a tag of ILO on the timeless blue. Uh, Steve Largent, Easy e right there, and Pierre Strong. So you are going to get a blend of veterans. You're going to get a blend of legends, and you're going to get a blend of rookies in this product. Also, with the Classics Premium box, you are going to get a pretty good auto checklist. They kind of juiced up the checklist 
with some really, really good vets. I believe Tom Brady and Patty Mahomes have autos in here. I think that they looked at the rookie class and said, hey, we need to we need to spice things up a little bit. So they did add some pretty good rookies or some pretty good legends to the checklist. We have a classic combos right there of Staubach and Drew Pearson. Numbered card is going to be 23 of 75, Shannon Sharp. And you might be wondering, why, why is that numbered? What, what, what's the difference? Uh, that is a blue back. So there's blue backs, red backs, and green backs, as well as no names and blank backs. That's the coolest toy I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Um, blank backs, of course, being a throwback to some of the air cards from the 1990s and even the 80s. Kyle Hamilton right there on the rookie. We're looking for Kenny Pickett. We're looking for Malik Willis. Always good to see uh, Aiden Hutchinson as well. Um, we've got Jerry Rice on the chrome along with Amon Ross St. Brown. Uh, numbered card is going to be a yellow, and that is going to be to 99 of Travis Kelsey. So Kelsey to 99. Staubach right there. George Pickens and Devin Lloyd on your two rookies. So you're getting two rookies per pack, and then you are do, you are getting the two chromes. So this is the first chromium technology cards of the 2022 rookies, at least until we get Mosaic in a couple of weeks here. Um, but I like this set. I like the blend of chrome. You know, this is not new. Neither of these products are new. They were the same last year. Do we have an auto right here? No, we have a classic beginning silver though. That is Kenny Pickett. I thought with the white down there that that might be an auto. Uh, we have a silver as well. That is Kyler Murray. Uh, Lawrence Taylor, Brett Favre, and Wandale Robinson. That is our first picket right there. Not numbered, but that is a sharp-looking picket. Classic beginnings. So this was a set. Uh, they brought classics back last year. Same configurations. So nothing has changed from, the, from year to year. We had both the H2 and the premium box last year. The premium was sold at Dutch Auction last year as well. So, bringing them back for a second year. Trey Lance, I almost said Trey Lance rookie right there, but of course not. Uh, that is going to be Antonio Gates on the Legends. That is a blue wave, or a purple wave to 50. Purple wave to 50 on the Legends of Antonio Gates, one of the best tight ends of all times. There he is again. Chris Olave on the rookie, and Christian Watson, the touchdown machine right there. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good holidays, and I hope you're looking forward to New Year's. And as always, don't drink and drive. Please don't. Uh, Justin Fields, call an Uber. Call a, call a Lyft. Uh, Clinton Portis. Uh, that is going to be a Super Bowl uh, classic banner season of Eli Manning. Timeless. Or, uh, that is going to be Devin Lloyd on the Timeless Tributes Purple to 50. Heinz Ward, Tiki Barber, and Isaiah Spiller. So, like I said, you are going to get a lot of numbered cards, and I'm actually expecting to see more numbered cards than what the box states. The box states that we are supposed to get uh, six, and I, I've seen in most boxes, the number's actually eight. Um, but maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm right, because I like to say what I've seen, and then it actually turns out there's going to be six. So, who knows? Who knows? Uh... Uh, when you are getting your numbered cards, the ones that you want, you want your chromes to be color. Those are going to hold the more more value over the paper color. Uh, we have a rookie of Pierre Strong. That's going to be another Legends. That is a Legends Red Warren Sap, 65 of 75. Clinton Portis, Kevon Thibodeau, and Matt Corral. Three packs left. Let's see if we can get an auto out of this box. Autos are rare. They're going to fall like... Probably two to three per 20 box case. So they are going to be quite hard to find. Um, see if maybe we can hit one. How cool would it be uh, to hit one? Steve Largent. I'm seeing something in here. That is going to be Christian Watson on the Classics Beginnings. That is going to be 23 of 35 Classic Beginnings Christian Watson. And I'm trying to figure out if there's like a little like printing issue on these Classic Beginnings designs. Because you can kind of see... The player is very, like, translucent, you want to say, even on this one. A little translucent. Christian Watson right there to 35. Uh, James Harrison, Harrison, Jonathan Ogden, and Danny Gray. A couple packs left, and then we will get into that Classics Premium box that I am looking forward to. That's the, that's the one with two guaranteed autos. So if you're looking for autos of this rookie class or uh, one of the uh, some veteran good veteran autos, that is the one to go with Skymore. James Connor, we've got a numbered Malik. Did somebody say Malik? What are we doing? 39 and 99 on the red back. We'll take it. Red back Malik. 
Jack Lambert, Brian Robinson, and Trayvon Walker. And we are down to our last pack of Classics H2. See if we have anything left. I think I see some gold back there. That's going to be a gold hyper, I want to say. Gold hyper of... Uh, that's going to be Fred Taylor. A good mix of legends. Uh, to 99, 97 of 99 on the Fred Taylor gold. And so, yeah, that was Classics H2. Most LCSs and hobby shops sh should have it. You can also buy it online. I've seen the average price online is around $120. Maybe your LCS does have it cheaper. Uh, so here's a look at what we got for 100 bucks: A numbered Malik, a numbered Christian Watson, a numbered Devin Lloyd, Gates, a silver picket. So, you know, much better than if you were to spend $100 on retail blasters of, say, Absolute uh, Football. Probably a better haul you know, uh, from a Classics H2 box and three or four absolute blasters, which would be the retail equivalent to buy at this point. No autos, but again, for a hundred bucks, this is some pretty decent value right here. Here's a box that I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the decent value is there because $200, six cards, you can get absolutely obliterated and get a couple of bad rookies uh, <laughs> and be, be asking yourself what happened. Shout out to my dude, James Draws, the god of TikTok. If you don't know who James Draws is, just Google his name. He is the absolute best. I love him to death. Don't come after my Seahawks again, James, please. Um, so, one six-card pack. And again, here is everything, one-on-ones. A lot of the premium edition does have some of the similar, you know, the no-name, the stars, the different color backs. And uh, the team color throwback edition and the history makers have some of the better autos in the uh in the in the product some of those good legends i talked about everything in here is going to be premium i like what i see in the back that is a stars back there i like that uh the two autos are going to be right here so let's go ahead and skip them behind this devonta smith we have three chrome cards right here the first one is going to be sauce gardener Sauce Gardner is our first. Going to be number to 35. Shout out my dude JML. I think next, uh, what is it, next week, the Jets and the Seahawks play. We have a little rivalry game between us. Josh Jacobs is going to be on the gold uh, to 60. And then our stars is going to be Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, one of six. Uh, one of six on the Deion Sanders. And I uh, got to shout out my dude Matt, my, our, our resident Falcons fan in our community. Deion Sanders to, on the Stars, timeless tribute to six. That's probably worth a few bucks. That one might be worth grading if uh, the centering wasn't so off right there. I assume the centering is off, but you never know. You never know with, yeah, that's definitely a thick border. You never know. Sometimes they just offset cards like that, and you're like, wait a minute. I think it's off center, but I'm not 100% sure. Why would they do that? Um, So that Dion was cool, but it is going to come down to our two autos right here. I see gold. Do I see gold and orange? I saw a jag. I did see a jag. I didn't see what the other one was. So let's take a look. Let's take a look right here. We got a jag. Let's go to the back because we saw this was a jag. That is going to be Travis Etienne on the gold auto to 20 right there. Sticker auto, second year Etienne. Jags have been fun to watch. Very fun to watch. Picked up a win over the Jets last week. Trevor Lawrence starting to come into it, starting to look like, you know, pretty good here in his sophomore year. ETN was running hard in that game, too. It was very wet, that game. Final card of the day. I don't think we've come close to our $200 back, so we're going to need to see a pretty big auto right here. Pretty big auto. It is going to be a rookie auto. That's going to be Traylon Burks. They had Traylon Burks signing stickers and signing cards. Oh, come on! Because he is everywhere in every one of these early release products. We were looking for Malik. We'll have to settle with Traylon Burks. 43 of 75 on that one. A couple of gold autos. So we did get a couple decent rookies. Or we got a decent rookie and a Travis Etienne. A second year Etienne. Uh, whose, whose Etienne stuff is still pretty low, I will say. Uh, and so to hit a second year non-rookie Etienne. I can't imagine there would be that much value here. And then Trey Burke seemingly signing everything from every set so far. So a lot of, lot of Trey Burke's autos here in the early going of the uh, 2022 release window for football. Yeah, the classics, I would actually say there was more value in the $100 box than the $200 box. 
Um, two autos, Burks and Etienne. Uh, and then the Devonta Smith, Josh Jacobs. Sauce Gardner was a cool one. And then the best card in the box, probably the Deion Sanders to six. A Classics H2, I think, took it today. So um, I think this video is a, is a big thumbs up for Classics H2. It's a good product. It's a good alternative. You know, if you mostly rip retail, hey, instead of buying three or four blasters, I, would, I definitely would recommend buying a Classics H2 box at that 100 to 120 price point. On the other side, you know, if you are a DGen, if you like the products with very few cards with big hit opportunities, go with the Classics Premium Edition. Uh, these are kind of the boxes that I've talked about that I prefer lately, just less cards and uh, high risk, high reward. So that's kind of fit what I've been trying to do lately. I just have way too many cards in my collection. So the less base cards, the better. Um, because you do get all of this base as well with a H2. That's going to do it for me. Leave me a comment below. Let me know which one you are ripping. If you're going to rip either one of them, which one would you prefer to rip or which one have you ripped? Uh, and uh, what was your hits if you hit anything good out of it? That's going to do it for me. We will be live again Wednesday and Thursday here on this channel, our final two group break nights of the week. Hope to see you. We will be giving away some stuff. If not, we will catch you on down the road.